success. So yeah. that is the first step. First you have to identify and then try to lose that bone by just coming downwards and laterally to find two muscles. So this, just see the two muscles, don't see the ribs now. So the top muscle is the pectoralis major and the lower one is pectoralis minor and you can see probably the arteries uh, coming there. So just a little bit downwards, look for the tapering end of the pectoralis minor and then flash it a little medially to find the ribs. So then you can appreciate the whole pec, pec 1, pec 2 block. So in this picture, you can see a little bit medial orientation of the probe. You should see two ribs. It's usually the third and the fourth rib. And you see a tapering end of the pectoralis minor. You can go right up to the corner, corner point where the pectoralis minor meets the pectoralis major. And you can do a modified pec block, which probably covers both pec 1 and pec 2. So you can just do that. The same like the tap block where the transversus ab abdominis tapers off. It's the same block. This is a modified pec block. The classical pec block is just to do it between major and minor uh, uh, one injection. Between uh, minor and the serratus is your second injection. So you have to do two injections. Always do the second injection pec 2 first because the distance will increase, so it will, your needle will become more steeper. So first do the PEC 2 followed by PEC 1. And you see, uh, you appreciate there are some uh, thin black strips of muscles that's originating, that is serratus anterior. Digitation. Yeah. Between the two ribs, uh, let me just flash it, the lowest white line is your pleura, and there will, there will be another small white line that is all the intercostal muscle, so that is external intercostal. So just freeze it rather. So there are different types of peg blocks. So peg one is between the major and the minor. The peg two has two types. One is between the minor and the serratus anterior digitation. You can target towards the transverse process, but don't touch it. So this is called peg two classical. Uh, Atul described, Dr. Gore described another one, which is between the external intercostal muscle and the serratus interdigitation. That is called infraserratus peg two block from the anterior chest, right? Okay, uh, unfreeze it. Okay, after that, we just move the probe a little bit transversely and keep on going uh, towards the lateral part of the chest wall and just wait for uh, a transverse, uh, a triangular muscle slit to develop. At that point, you will see that there is an artery, which is a thoracodorsal artery. That is the plane for the serratus anterior block. You should be able second. to see, yeah. One so, which is the dorsal side now? Uh, sorry. Dorsal side, obviously, dorsal is up, right? Oh. The, thorac it's in the thoracic region, that's how I, how I sort of remembered. It's, oh, in the right, okay. it's in the thoracic oh. region oh. and it's close to the lat dorsi muscle. Right. That's why it's a thoraco dorsal. Oh, right, I got you, got you, yeah. Thoraco acromial is mm. near, it's Acrom because of the acromion process in the mm. thoracic region. So no. that's why it's thoraco acromial. Art. So, so that's how, I, you know, it's easy to remember that way. Yeah. This is your ideal picture for your um, serratus anterior block. So you should see two ribs, you should see, see the pleura, you should see the thoraco dorsal artery at the top and a triangular muscle which is a lat dorsi. So freeze it and in here the same thing if you do it between the two close to the neurovascular bundle it is serratus anterior plane block. You can come more close towards the, ex these are the external intercostal so you can do it below the serratus muscle but the high, it causes more higher absorption into the blood and can cause local anesthetic toxicity. Oh, the, uh, so if you put it on the down. Yeah, that is Gore's technique. Gore's <coughs> technique causes a bit less duration, yeah. but it causes more, more sympathetic. sympathetic, so it is much better. For like in what situation that is useful in terms of surgery? I mean, I do basically both in my practice. Uh, so I would say if you're doing it for the yeah. refracture, yeah. do that. Which one? 